Get on the air now. 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 Get on the air. Let's go. Let's go. That's Brian Wood with the dramatic first words we got on the earthquake on Wednesday. It's very rare to be live on the air when an earthquake hits, but that was the case here on Cairo 7 as we were first to break onto the air. Now we want to roll Brian's live report and be sure to watch the curtains in the background. This is Brian Wood live in downtown Seattle on the 12th floor of the Mayor's Conference Room. We were waiting for a news conference when it hit. An earthquake. Undoubtedly, you felt it. Just in the matter of seconds, things are still rolling, even as we speak right now. Some of the uh, items here... That's right. Things were rolling, including Brian and the cameraman there. Brian kept going. So did we. Continuous live coverage that lasted well into the evening. And Brian, we started the program with you. We'll finish this evening with you. The look on your face, it, it mirrored what a lot of us were feeling in that instant. What was going through your mind? Oh yeah, well, fear, like a lot of folks. Probably the first thing was, what is this? Figuring out it was an earthquake then, like a lot of people deciding what to do next. In my case, there I was with a live camera facing me. We're getting ready for another story to start. So I guess instinct really just took over. And you know, the media are often justifiably criticized for hype and for sensationalism, but it is in a crisis like this when a community really comes together, sort of coalesces, and they need that instant information from television and radio. Brian, your picture went all over the country, even all over the world. Have you gotten much reaction? Yeah, both good and bad, and that darn picture keeps recycling over and over again. We're seeing it a lot. Uh, for the most part, people have been very supportive and uh, saying they're, they're glad we stood our ground. Scott Kruger, the chief photographer, and I there, and then we got the live picture out. Other people, critical, saying I should have gotten into a doorway or ducked under a table along with some of the other reporters. And that is probably what I would have done had that darn live camera not been staring at me at the time. Well, it was a great job, Brian. We appreciate it. Thanks so much for all your hard work and all our photojournalists and reporters. Thanks. Now, there is a lesson in all of this for us. Get ready for the next and maybe even worse earthquake. Put together an earthquake preparedness kit now. Don't know what to include? Get the specifics at our website at CairoTV.com. Put together an evacuation plan for your family and how to get out of your house. And if you need to retrofit your house to make it quake safe, use this as the impetus to do it. You know, some people are using the word miracle to describe this quake, a powerful 6.8 jolt where no one died, where the damage was far less than we've seen in places like San Francisco or Northridge or even Kobe, Japan. Truth of the matter is, though, we were just very lucky. The quake was deep, the ground was dry, the streets were fairly deserted on the day. Well, that the sound shook. It really will be a miracle if Wednesday's quake was just a wake-up call that convinces us to get prepared for the big one that is still to come. And that's our program tonight. Brian Wood and Margot Kim will be back here at 11 with the latest on the quake and all the day's news. Good night.